In order to understand cumulative organic chemical hypertoxicity as a clinical condition, we have to delve into the history of life. Life has been on the planet, according to the most recent estimates, for about four billion years. And one of the themes in living materials is its DNA. DNA is the repository of the codes or the templates for making every protein that is utilized by the cell and every structural element of the cell. DNA is an incredibly stable molecule and the story starts when one species after another begins to throw poison darts at each other. The problem with that scenario is that Poison kills living things. And the only organisms that could survive when poison darts were thrown were those organisms that had enzymatic machinery to neutralize the poisons, that had the ability to digest them or in some other manner make them inactive. The organisms that had those survived. And the codes for the proteins, which in essence are genes in the DNA, get passed on every time the cell replicates and every time the species reproduces. And so these codes got transferred from species to species down through the history of life. And today, every living organism on the planet of any complexity has 18,000 different enzymes that it can call on to use to neutralize poisons it might encounter along the way through its life. The cells don't make those enzymes unless the poison is present. If the poison is present, then the cell is induced to make the enzymes. The problem arises because today not all of us have all 18,000 codes. If we are missing significant segments of those codes and we encounter the poisons for which they were intended, we can't protect ourselves. We can't neutralize, metabolize, or eliminate the poison. So from the moment of conception forward in our lives, as we get exposed to the things we can't neutralize and metabolize, they accumulate in our cells. As they accumulate in the cells, they reach an equilibrium point in the fluids that are bathing the cells. And basically, they're everywhere in our body. And this is the problem. If you are missing significant segments of the detox array and you accumulate these poisons, they begin to have adverse effects. And those adverse effects occur in what we refer to as the biotoxin pathway. If you can't clear the poisons, the poisons begin to cause multi-organ system illnesses. When we treat patients who have this problem, what we have discovered is that if we use simple agents that can act as sponges as they go through the small intestine, like charcoal, clay, or something called cholestyramine, we can help a person reduce the circulating levels in the fluids which will rapidly shut off the inflammatory processes in their body. And then gradually over a period of years, they will empty out the storage sites and eventually get to a point where they have eliminated everything they've accumulated in the way of these toxins over the course of their lifetime.